Salam sejahtera and have a good day to my panel. My name is Lim Kin Wei from BMD Section 1. Today, I would like to present my Bachelor Degree Project 1 with title Design and Development of CNC 3D Router Machine. Before that, I would like to thank the panel and my supervisor allowed me to present this research. The first is about the background of the project. Talent Development Program Developing Tomorrow's Engineering Expertise TDP is a program where students are grouped under one organization to invent a large-scale project called the V2 Router Machine. This TDP program aims to expose students to real-world stations before students enter the workforce. This is the first program that was developed with the Dean of Faculty of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering Technology FTKMP, and other department head support. This is because this program can provide students with real experience in learning something outside of their jurisdiction. The group organization structure is similar to that of the professional world including investor and it is led by project manager and other department heads. So this is the group organization chart of the TDP program. Dr. Hamali was the director of this program and I was a project manager who handled the overall project development. Below that have another 5 members and each of them is in charge of different departments and tasks in this TDP program. So this is the first dash logo of the TDP program and we have named it V2. Next is the problem statement. The problem statement of the project was getting from the feedback from the Ministry of Higher Education and the industry. The problem that is happening now today is the graduated student status is a lack of knowledge, experience, and also skill in that entire field. This is because some of the content the student needs to explore by themselves out of the classroom. Besides that, the CNC 3D router machine exists around the world with different quality, functions, price, specification, and etc. According to the market research, the existing CNC 3D router machine was not affordable in price for some of the colleges and polytechnic education. The main aim of this research is to study the engineering design phase of the development of a V2 router machine, whereby can ensure that all the flow of product design and development will be applied to this project. The objectives are as follows. First, to design and develop the selected components of the jack assist sub-assembly for the newly V2 router machine. Second, to apply the engineering practice by fabricating the prototype of jack assist sub-assembly part of the V2 router machine. Next is the scope of the project. First, to do a literature review on the design and development process. Second, to study and develop the engineering design phase based on product design and development. Third, to evaluate the best concept design on the jack assist mechanism for prototype fabrication. Okay, so for the literature review, mostly was refer and study to the books in carry out this research. The first book refer to the product design and development, Sixth edition 2016, that was published by McGraw Hill Education, Carl T. Arish and Stephen D. Ippinger was the author of the book. The next book to refer is the Rudolf J. Eagle 2005. In this book, the study on the engineering design phases was carried out in more detail in generating the methodology research. The following book's title is Product Development for Engineering Technology 2021. The author of the book was my supervisor and the chapter on concept generation and selection was more focused. The last book is the Manufacturing Engineering Technology 2010. The author of this book is the Siropi Kapajan and Stephen R. Skimit. For the fabrication, the process topic will refer to this book in carry out the research. So this is my research methodology for a chart. The research starts with a literature review, then the decision max process will be go through. The rejected decision has made if the study literature review 
was not enough to support it. After that, the engineering design process will proceed to start after the decision making has passed with establishing the target specification, house of quality, HOQ, engineering design specification, concept generation, concept selection, final specification, and the specific purpose part and standard part list. All the engineering design process will be objective one of the project. The fabrication process of the jet assist components will proceed when objective one is achieved. The activities will carry out during the fabrication process such as machining process, machining process plan, specification of machine use, and tools for fabrication. When all the machining part was done, the fabrication or assembly activities will proceed to join up until all the specific purpose part and standard parts into a sub-assembly for the jack assist mechanism. The process was done and the beta prototype is ready. Okay, so this is the gun chart of the PSM1 activities. All the activities have been planned and carried out according to the chart from week 1 until week 14. The literature review is done by a systematic approach. All of the information in chapter 2 were gathered from Mendeley Software, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and other websites. The information found used keywords such as CNC router machine, CNC controller, product design and development process, and other that are relevant to this project. Okay, so for the first design and development process, the benchmarking process will carry out to benchmark the existing CNC router machine on the jack assist mechanism. The figure of the machine and details features will be listed in the table. After the benchmarking, the house of quality HOQ, process will carry out. The voice of the customer VOC in this research will refer to the benchmarking of the existing machine. Since the market nowadays has a lot of CNC router machine already. So after the benchmarking process carried out, the engineering design specification EDS will be generated. All of the components of the jack assist mechanism will be listed in the table with detailed specification and whether it is a specific purpose part or standard part. With the engineering design specification, the concept generation will be carried out. In this research, the combination table will be applied to generate the concept with the sub-function of the jack assist mechanism. From the combination table, each sub-function has at least two or more concept solutions with the metric calculation. After the concept generation process, the concept selection process will be going through. The weight rating method has been applied in this research by evaluating concepts concerning customer needs and other criteria, comparing the relative strengths and weakness of the concept, and selecting one or more concept for further investigation, testing, or development. So the final specification will be generated from the concept selection. The high score of the sub-function of the jack assist mechanism will be selected and become the final target specification. And from the final specification, the engineering drawing will be generated to proceeding the fabrication process. From the final specification, the specific purpose part and standard part will be generated. The function of the specific purpose part and standard part list was used to classify which part needed to carry out fabrication and which part needed to purchase because some of the part were already made and did not need to fabrication. So this is the machining process plan template. This template is used to plan the custom made part for the machining process. The planning will according to the engineering drawing with the list down each of the machining processes that will be carried out. So with the process plan, the machining process can be a startup. But before that, the specification of the machine that may be used needed to be listed and study to understand the function of the machine. With the help of the specification of the machine, we can avoid accidents occurring or breaking down the machine. And before machining, a list of cutting tools was needed to list down and understand which tools are suitable for carrying out that operation. Besides that, can avoid the cutting tools from easily breaking up if lack of knowledge on using that cutting tools. And lastly, all of the machining 
components and standard parts will be assembled and form the jack axis mechanism for the CNC 3D router machine. The procedure to assemble the components will be explained in that table. So this is the expected result for the jack axis mechanism. It also was a preliminary result with the help of 3D CAD software. According to the figure, it has some components listed as the standard parts which are the stepper motor, ball screw set, spindle, coupling, limit switch, and the linear reel. So, that is all about my research in PSM1 on the topic of jack axis mechanism of the CNC 3D router machine. Thank you. One, two, three, four.